Korean turtle ships were not simply a turtle on a ship. They looked a lot more like this. And the first ones were created in 1413. They fell off when Korea hit a long peacetime, but were brought back when the Japanese invaded. And a man by the name of Admiral Yi was like, Hey, everybody remember those ships from a long time ago? Yeah, we could use those. Let's get some. Each ship was about 100 to 120 feet long with spikes on the top to repel attackers. Each ship had a dragon head on the front that could either emit sulfur smoke or hold a cannon. Each ship contained two sails and two masts with a U-shaped bottom that was more stable so when the cannons went boom boom at the enemies, the ship did not fall over like your dead dog. Each side of the ship contained 10 oar and 11 cannon portholes, meaning each ship would have 20 oars and 26, possibly 27 if there was a cannon in the dragon head. Each ship also contained 70 oarsmen and 50, 60 marines along with one captain and... They very heavily inspired western ironclads such as seen in the civil war. There's a one to one scale of this ship in the Korean city Yosu. 